PCR's revolutionary automatic robotic crawler RTs is an innovative aid for holistic tube inspection that includes automated system inspection like creep strain measurement, bowing assessment, thickness measurement and automated ultrasound testing. In this series, we will discuss about primary reformer, types of damages, detection methods, life assessment, destructive method, life assessment, NDT method, RTs, advantages of RTs, case study, primary or hydrogen reformers. Whether it is an oil and gas industry, petroleum industry, fertilizer industry, reformers are an integral part of the facility. Reformer tubes are used for cracking hydrocarbon to produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide either in presence of steam or in presence of oxygen. Importance of Reformer Tube Inspection The life of a reformer tube is majorly influenced by operating temperature. A 15 degree rise in temperature can reduce the tube life by half. The increased demand for production requires higher flow rates resulting in a shorter reaction time of cracking that necessitates increased furnace temperature. Therefore, reformer tube inspection becomes one of the most focused activities during the turnarounds. Economics of tube inspection Failure of a reformer tube can lead to at least 5 days of breakdown that results in loss of production, expensive maintenance and immediate resourcing for spare tubes and catalysts. This results in huge breakdown costs. Regular inspection with predictive life assessment tools can provide on-hand planning for maintaining appropriate inventory that includes tubes, catalysts and proper shutdown schedules. Types of Reformer Tube Damages Gradually, Reformer Tube starts facing problems such as Number 1. Creep Failure As the usage reformers increases, small unseen creeps develop within the reformer resulting in voids within the surface of the tube. Number 2. Bowing of Reformer Tube This happens due to thermal expansion and contraction in succession or due to improper heat distribution damaging support system. Number 3. Boldness of Reformer Tube Loss of Effective Tube Metal Thickness Number 4. Thermal Shock Sudden change in temperature or process upsets causes thermal shock that may result in abrupt, catastrophic failure of tubes. Number 5. Localized overheating Misalignment of burners lead to disturbance in flue gas path or clogging of the catalyst due to degradation. Number 6. Deteriorated catalyst Due to the aging or increased flow rate, the catalysts, nickel monoxide, undergo rubbing and relative movement of particles making them more friable. The fine particles settle down on the layer choking the passage of gas. Number 7. Metallurgical Degradation The metal elements used in making reformer degrades due to excessive use. NDT methods for detecting damages in reformer tubes. As we discussed in earlier episode, reformer tube can face five types of damages. Let us understand how these damages are detected. Creep damage can be detected through Diametric measurements Ultrasonic scanning Eddy current testing Metallography And radiography Localized heating can be detected through Pyrometer or infrared vision in operation And metallography Degradation of catalyst can be detected by Pyrometers Pressure gauge on line readings External tube oxidation can be detected through 
विजुअल इंस्पेक्शन एंड थिकनेस मेजरमेंट थर्माल इफेक्ट एंड बोइंग कैन बी डिटेक्टेड थ्रू विजुअल इंस्पेक्शन एंड कॉन्स्टेंट स्प्रिंग हैंगर रीडिंग्स और काउंटर वेट बैलेंस रीडिंग The significance of remaining life assessment for reformer tubes are conducted to understand damage mechanism that causes failure. There are two approaches to assess RLA, destructive and non-destructive. Let us understand destructive approach. Reformer tubes are generally designed for 1 lakh hours. At the end of the period tubes are either replaced or extended as per its condition. replacement of the tubes is usually planned when failure rate increases rla can be derived by calculation of accumulated creep damage based on operating pressure tube metal temperature and oxidation within life services alloy manufacturer also provides parametric creep strain and larsen miller parameter that is lmp data for assessment when parametric creep rupture data is absent Accelerated stress rupture test is adopted for deriving life assessment. Various lab tests like dimensional measurements, macrostructure observations, microstructure observations and accelerated stress rupture test are taken under consideration for destructive tests. For an accelerated creep rupture test, a tensile bar is taken on which load and temperature are applied and strain is plotted with the time. This test usually ends with rupture within 100 to 1000 hours. The creep curve is obtained from the test results determining minimum creep strain rate. Based on the minimum creep rate data and combination of operating parameters, this creep test provides residual life using LMP equation. Life assessment NDT method RTs RTs offers remaining life assessment with NDT approach on the basis of different tests which are integrated firstly for damage classification followed by remaining life calculation Damage classification is categorized from rating 0 to 3 with 3 being the worst affected condition Microstructural conditions are correlated from the obtained ultrasound attenuation values by RTs For instance Macrostructural condition for a new tube has attenuation property under 52 decibels. Aged material has attenuation properties between 52 to 60 decibels. And the worst condition forming micro cracks in the tube generally exceeds the attenuation values of 76 decibels. The microstructures and attenuation properties also depend on material of construction. As an example H K 40 materials used to exhibit attenuation of 60 to decibels at later stage of life whereas K H R 35 C T materials have attenuation in the range of 60 to 64 decibels with moderate aging Besides RTs provides diameter profiles throughout the length of the tube and hence the creep strain for each tube in the reformer along with which a macro view of the entire reformer system is made available for corrective actions for life assessment it is of utmost importance to determine the effective tube metal temperature that is t effective from the classified curves of strain versus stress which is further adjusted for different microstructural conditions based on proprietary database This database is integrated with the ultrasound attenuation references wherein the T effective is defined as the temperature responsible for the current level of damage stress versus lmp curve provides instantaneous life at the precalculated T effective for the current microstructural condition this value becomes seed to accumulation creep damage calculation Accumulated creep damage is obtained for different time intervals calculating the fraction of life expended to instantaneous life for each time interval as per the guidelines given in API 579 SME FFS1 
part 10 and API 530. The remaining life for each tube in the reformer thereby can be predicted from the accumulated creep damage. A sensitivity analysis can be obtained for different future operating conditions for optimizing the tube life. This type of remaining life assessment, RTs, is established since 2012. Advantages of RTs RTs is an abbreviation of Automated Reformer Tube Inspection System. The reformer inspection by ultrasound test is a proven method deployed since 1980s. Use of motorized crawler with embedded technique of ultrasound inspection covers reproducible results with high accuracy. The encoder provides precise locations of creep damage data. What are the unique features of RTs? The integration of outer diameter measurements is coupled with ultrasound inspection which further enhances the correlation between attenuation and creep strain data simultaneously. With the combination of optical CCD sensors, photographic evidences are taken for examining the physical condition of tubes at the time of inspection. Typically associated microstructural condition at locations can be predicted with combination of creep and attenuation properties. Precise RLA of tubes provides vital input to the management for taking inventory control and just-in-time replacement decisions. Can you share one of the case studies of artists and what kind of reports does artists give? I have one very excellent uh, and so, you know, demonstrating the benefits of the artists mm -hmm. such a case study with me. In one of the reformers, there were a certain number of tubes paid all of a sudden because of, of uh, you know, uh, process of check conditions. And uh, the number of tubes paid were somewhere around 12 or 13. And um, there were very limited replacement new tubes mm -hmm. available, like some, as I remember, somewhere around 5 or 6 numbers. Now the question comes how to operate the or put back the reformer back into operation. Because we have limited tubes to replace, more number of tubes had failed than the tubes uh, available in the inventory. What we did, we did one excellent study in that. First of all, in the same condition how it was failed, uh, away from the failure area, we scanned all the tubes and found that what is the remaining life, what is the condition and predicted whether this tube will survive for the next two years. Based on that, those portions were selected and uh, welded together by the company and uh, it was put back into the operation. So that's a great selling because you don't have the, any inventory for that, that moment. You can't mm -hmm. buy it. It's so it creates a panic situation for any industry, that right? That industry came out of the panic with uh, great efforts and uh, I am very proud that TCR was part of that. With this, we end our series regarding the technique of the month RTs. Until then, like, share, follow and subscribe on our social media channels for more updates.